Alright guys, they're playing Trundle top lane today in Season 14. This time we're playing Trundle against a Mundo. And what we have is Lethal Tempo, Triumph, Alacrity, Last End, Demolish, and Second Wind. Now today I'm going to teach you guys the highest win rate and most broken top laner of Season 14. I don't know if you guys have seen the stats and everyone playing Trundle. But like this champ is the most played champion. The highest win rate. Extreme high ban rate. Nobody seems to like playing against a Chondo right now. And for obvious reasons, like the items for a Chondo are just incredible. Also, the Q of Chondo is incredible. Everything. Like, I've never expected Chondo to make such an amazing comeback from Season 13 into Season 14, but he's incredible right now. I'll show you why. We're into like an easy matchup, I consider. Like, Mundo. Seems scary for a lot of people. I don't personally don't think he's that scary. Especially if he'll play Trundle. We're going to be going for Blade as a first item. Because Blade counters anything that it goes full HP. And then we go into Trinity. Into Experimental Hexblade. It's probably what we're going to be building as a third. Really depends still, but... I'm getting Minion blocked so hard. Hmm. Okay, there it comes <laughs> getting blocked the entire time. What is this? <laughs> Biggest minion block of my life, man. I'm getting blocked four times in a row. What is that? <laughs> I could have killed that Mundo like twice. Hmm. Well, that might just be it. Nice. That's one of the fancy tricks you can do with Trundle. So, rather than starting the fight just with a Q, which a lot of people tend to do, instead of that, you, you do like the auto Q auto. You can do that extremely fast. And we have like a slight problem. Uh, I'll stay outside the red trinket. Wait a second. Yeah, I'm not gonna turn around. I'll end up dying. I think I'm. I think I'm gonna die anyways. Okay, they don't flash, so it's all good. Now comes the very hard part about the matchup. We just got ganked. We are really low HP, got no some spells, and we have an entire wave that's gonna get on our tower soon with a with a mundo that's gonna poke me down all the way. Here comes the real challenge. If we can find out a way to reset and buy items and come back, we're going to be demolishing laney phase completely because we already have an advantage over Mundo. The only thing is that I have 1.1k gold and I can't buy anything and I'm stuck in my own tower at the moment. There is one advantage that I have and that's that I'm going to get level 6 first because I killed Mundo before. So there's that opportunity. And we can also stay away from Mundo Qs by standing behind the wave. So it's not too bad. I think we're going to make it out here. Feeling pretty confident about it, actually. I'm not worried that much. If this was a Renekton or something, I'd be more worried. But Mundo can be countered in early game. If you know how to like stay away from Qs. See, we're getting a free push while being low HP. Nice. I don't really want to use my E too often. Because by using my E, the Mundo passive procs and he can actually heal back a little bit. <clears throat> Alright, it's time we're going to be heading back. Like I said before, it's not about killing Mundo right now. It's about being able to reset, buying items, and then coming back stronger. Okay. What we're going to do is I'll specifically run Berserker's Greaves. And let's get back. I go Berserker's Greaves instead of directly Recurve Bow. Because if I have more movement speed, I can kite down... Whoa. I can chase down Mundo a lot better because I have a lot more movement speed. And it also provides attack speed, so we're still gaining damage. Is that in this matchup you need movement speed uh, to chase him down. If you don't go movement speed, you're uh, making your lane a lot more difficult. I'm going to be holding the wave because um, Mundo is resetting right now. And whether he TPs or walks back to lane, actually he's going to walk back to lane. If I don't push this, 
you just let it kill this wave here, then Mundo is going to fall behind. So we're chilling. There you go. Now we hold it like this. This is extremely good because if Mundo makes it back now, then he will have to force walking into me to go for last hits. Or he needs to hit Q. And now I can start stacking waves. I can uh, make sure that the wave's going to slow push into him. Oh, nice. Oh, I'm trolling. Uh, okay, no, no problem. He's going to live out of this, but he's really, really low HP, meaning I can just dive him under tower. I just need to force the wave super fast. That's all. He will die 100% because the wave is too much, and my auto Q is going to be enough to kill him too. There you go. He will not live from this. There's no way he lives. Smart guy. He's walking back. Well, the landing phase is over. I win. I'm getting plates for free. I don't want to proc the passive from Mundo. So, there you go. If you pop your E, like, on top of Mundo, then his passive is going to proc, and then he can pick it up and heal from it. But if you... Uh, put your E slightly more away from him and don't hit it from really close range. Um, the Mundo passive will no longer proc because he's not getting knocked up anymore. And um, he will still get slowed by E afterwards. So your, your E still works. So the reason why Mundo passive functions like that um, the reason why it, it it procs is because your E, in case you're unaware, your E gives like a super slight uh, knock up or whatever. Actually, it says it's a knockback, but in my opinion, it's a knock. It's more like a knock up actually. But um, whatever, they're both almost the same. Let's go for this stuff, and there you go. Let's walk back. We have uh, we have a nice lead, man. We have like several we have like several plates already versus this where he's got like no plates. If he goes for the plate, I think I can probably uh, maybe maybe kill him. We'll see. Okay. Again, I'm not proccing the passive by doing this. Yeah, I got him. Okay, uh, so let's go for plates. We're gonna go for the final plate. We're nine minutes in the game, okay? We already have all plates. That's amazing. Oh, whoa, no! Oh, I didn't meant to auto him. I am trolling, man. Wow. I was supposed to auto attack the tower. I accidentally, like, somehow brain lagged and I moved my mouse to the right side and accidentally clicked on Mundo. That's not what I wanted to do, bro. I had a brain lag, bro. Okay, I just feed away a lot of gold, so I, at least the game is more exciting now. It's not very good because our bot lane is like mega losing the game at the moment, so I'm not supposed to be feeding gold away at this point, but I think it's okay. It's just a Mundo anyways. I'm fine with it. I'm okay. It's all good. I think I'm just gonna let him do it all in. I'm fine with it. I'll take the wave. The wave is more value to me than Mundo is at the moment, if I'm honest. Because if I push the wave in, I can already take tower. It doesn't matter if he lives. Because even if he auto queues me under tower, I will still live. I'll take the tower down faster than he can kill me. That's why I prioritize the wave. It gives me more value. Nice. There's a fight in the river. So we gotta hurry up. There you go. I'm on my way. Oh, he already died. Nice. Yeah, he's gonna die here. He just doesn't know it yet. 
Goodbye, buddy. I can ignite. I ignite it to be sure I will kill him. Yeah, Mundo definitely got stronger right now because of me feeding the gold away. You can definitely tell that he's got stronger. Okay. That's funny. <laughs> I used my E at like his passive proc. <laughs> And <laughs> he was going to pick up the passive for the healing. So he walked like straight back into me so I could actually hit my autos and my Qs again. <laughs> I was like, what? I was thinking to myself, like, what have I done? Why did I pop my E straight on him? Because like he actually heals from the passive. It's a bad idea. But like it actually from a bad idea, it just turned into a really good one. Just because he goes like he walks back into me for the healing. <laughs> That's incredible, man. He just got baited. I, I didn't even intend it that way. I actually was thinking to myself, why have I done that? Like... That's funny. A mistake turns into a good one. That's so funny. I can go dragon and help my team. But I have a really hard choice to make because it's 12 min 35 and Mundo is pushing top. If he gets my plates on tower, he's going to make a really big comeback. So it's better if I'm actually up here and prevent the Mundo from doing what he's doing now. Okay, he's dead. No, oh, like 10 HP, whatever, I guess. He's lucky for today. It's fine. I'm Chondal anyways. It doesn't matter. I'll beat the game. Uh, yeah, let's get the next wave right now. I really regret like dying before. I can feel that 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 like Mundo is so much stronger right now. He's not supposed to be this strong in the game. Okay. And we got him. I really don't understand why Trondle is this strong right now, like, and why Riot hasn't done anything to fix it yet, because the new patch is pretty much rolled out, and, like, there's nothing making Trondle worse, like, literally, the patch notes. They've been buffing a lot of top laners straight up, but they completely forgot about Trondle's existence, which is actually funny to me, because this champ is, like completely like you can completely turn your brain off right now and win games with chundle it makes no sense the champ requires no skill like you can play chundle in 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 your first game ever and still do exactly as as much as i do all i need to know is proper movement speed like uh, not movement speed. all i need to know is like proper proper moving and like hiding that's all this champ doesn't even take any skill there's no like combos you can do all you can do is like auto reset your your auto attack with your q and that's all you can do it's nothing impressive about the champion nice push no one's here <laughs> ah, he actually got away. I could I could technically ignite, but I thought it was gonna kill him anyway. Whatever. Doesn't matter. Team my teammates seem to be chilling up there. I'm gonna go for blue. Let's go for that one. But before we do... They're not going to move up here? Ah, oh, man. I'm so unlucky. Then I wish I moved up. 
Hey. Power's proccing on me. That's not supposed to happen. Uh, Vi's gonna move up from the this direction. <laughs> I'm Trundle. You don't kill me. Next. Hello, 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 Seraphine. Good to see you're stomp proccing there, but it doesn't matter. Oh, here we go again with the Chonda mode. Aww. Oh, I got stunned for seven seconds almost. <laughs> Look how long. <laughs> That's how long it takes to kill me, guys. <laughs> Seven seconds of CC. <laughs> oh, oh man. Let's go for experimental hexblade. <laughs> nice CC they got right there. <clears throat> We're going to be running top lane again. Or maybe, yes, we are going to run top lane. Well, actually, it's pretty stacked, so I'm going to go for the jungle camp, and then we go top lane. Because the wave is uh, completely uh, getting wrecked. It's better if we go for this one. Just a bit more efficient with uh, the wave. Always good. Next. We don't take a lot of mana either with Trundle. That's why I love so much about Trundle right now. I used to always consistently run um, Biscuits with Trundle, depending on the matchup, of course. I still do today, and today I still do that, like, a lot, but it's not necessarily much of a requirement anymore. You can just go into Resolve page if you really like. Okay, goodbye. Really? You're chasing me down? You're never gonna catch me, ever. <laughs> Not happening today. I can buy my experimental Hexblade right now, so I'm, I'm actually gonna go back once more. My teammates are taking Dragon. Nice. Three items already, like 19 minutes in the game. Amazing. Let's run towards... Let's run towards spot lane. Oh, wait, I'll take this one real quick too. Yeah, there you go. Well, if they don't fight, I'll take all the jungle camps that I can find then. And also take the wave, of course. So nice having a blue. I don't think they realize that I'm right on their back here. <laughs> Good luck stopping me here. <laughs> Good luck. Have fun. Enjoy. <laughs> I 
Next. <laughs> <sighs> Goodbye. Oh no. Okay, that can stop me. Yeah, that can stop me. <laughs> okay. Next item I'm gonna go for is the Titanic Hydra for sure. Titanic Hydra is super nice right now. You can't go wrong like building this item anymore. There, there's so many champions right now that uses uh, Titanic Hydra. Because what a lot of people don't know yet is that like your Titanic Hydra is an auto attack reset, meaning you can play it on every champion. <clears throat> auto attack resets are broken. Like any champion that uses auto attack resets is kind of broken if they if they're AD. There's so many champions that use that item now that could never use that item ever. I don't like the idea of them doing Baron because the enemy team they they obviously know. But I guess I can clean it up if uh this continues. Oh, they didn't even try stealing it. That surprises me so much. Nice. <coughs> I guess Mundo Bale and so we're chilling. Ah, oh, goodbye. The game is over. <coughs> Wait. Yep. GG. Hey, this is Channel Top Lane. Thanks so much for watching today's video, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.